Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name, my name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants in my life and journey with my plants. I'm really sorry I'm filming with noise in the background yet again. Uh, I have the dishwasher running but I kind of just got to make the most of the time when like Jordan and Wolfie are out to make my videos so please excuse the noise. Uh, today is Sunday so there's no renovation going on. I'm really sorry you guys have to put up with so much noise. Anyways, in today's video I want to do a plant haul with you guys. Spring is here and that means there are more plants available and that also means a lot of more plant online stores are uh, opening back up for shipping. Um, so I've got quite a few goodies here to share with you guys. I also actually wanted to include some of the peperomias that I've picked up. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, sometimes a type of um, plant just gets released out in a lot of varieties and quantities into garden centers. So I think a while back it was all, a lot of calatheas became available and recently a lot of peperomias that aren't around as much throughout the year have been released into my local garden centers so i've picked up quite a few including the ones that i already have in my collection i kind of thought maybe i just won't show you guys the peperomias there's quite a few so i'll just make another video to show you my peperomia collection and i'll just sh share with you the other plant hauls that i have um i kind of also want to just let you guys know we've as a family we've got some pretty bad news um, so i am going through quite a bit of uh, grief but i want to keep filming I, I really like that it just um the rhythm of life with the filming and the connecting with you guys and the editing so i want to keep doing that but i am we are as a family going through a bit of a hard time at the moment anyway so let's just uh look at the new plants they are uh, my saving grace. Um, all right, so let's just get going. The first one I want to show you is this beautiful, gorgeous uh, philodendron lemon lime. It's so adorable. I just love the leaf shape and the color. I have a very similar color plan within the Potho um, family, the lemon lime, the le uh, neon Potho, but they're just not quite the same, you know, like the leaves in the philodendron is just more delicate um, and the heart shape uh, shape is just so, just so special. Uh, I've tried this plant quite a few times, but two, this is the, my third try to be exact and I haven't had good luck, but I've always heard people say it's really, really easy. So I just, I want to give it a try again. I really want to get like a beautiful big trailing plant out of this plant which my friend uh, Christina has I'll link her photo in the video I'll show you guys she has a beautiful plant and she really says like it's really nothing to it um, but yeah so I want to try this one again I also find that because it's a philodendron and it's so the leaves are so tender I have to be very wary of staying on top of um, thrips they really do prefer this type of foliage but uh, I'm really happy that I picked this one up so that's the first one. If you guys have any tips on this one, I will so throw it my way. I would appreciate it. The next plant that I'm going to guide that I am going to show you is also a plant that I have kind of failed at. I have um, many different varieties of marantas, and they are all doing really well in my care, except for the one that I like the most. I used to have a big full pot, and it has dwindled into like a little thing. So when I saw it being available again um, in a plant shop, it was. Um, a local shop and they do local delivery and they're offering discounts on local delivery at the moment i jump uh, at the opportunity to pick up some more and her the specimens that she sent to my home are so gorgeous i ordered three four inch pots and i potted them together again that's kind of my style um so i got this lemon lime morenta this foliage i think it's just one of the most stunning foliage out there I don't know why like this one in particular has such a hard time I it did have to endure a move during um, like my previous one I, I moved and I think after the move it was really just it just did not do well um, but I really hope I have high hopes for this one because my other ones are 
really really happy and gorgeous and just throwing out new leaves constantly look at this like tube of new leaf that it's working on it's huge and i've heard like um different opinions on the care for this one some people say it thrives in low light but some people also say they they're doing really well in their like south window getting like blasted by the sun like or like really bright indirect light so i don't know um in my um experience with my other ones they do pretty well with just medium uh, amount of light so and this one i'm gonna i'm just putting it right by my humidifier to like give it as much help as possible as it transitions into my home environment but it's so gorgeous and you know like the the marenta the prayer plants they have so much movement in the morning and at night the way they their leaves move uh it's just such a, a unique interesting plant yeah and uh the way it looks like it's kind of almost like trailing it, it'll be a really beautiful plant to put on a shelf and have it kind of cascade a little bit yeah it's just i think it's a perfect plant all right so that's the second one so i'm kind of moving like from like a little bit more common plants to like more of my more like rarer um, plant haul um the next one i really adore this one too this one that I, uh, this one is called oh i should have gotten the name i'll put it on the screen uh, i think it's pelion pelionia ripens uh, i'll make sure i give you guys the right name but i love it the lighting is doing it justice it's uh you can kind of see the the like green undertone but when it's in a darker space it's just it's harder to see that one so these are the newer leaves with the green in the middle and the more mature leaves are more just darker in color i really like that and the back is kind of i don't know if you can pick up but it's like feels like a little bit of really like muted pink i just adore this plant i have another variety uh, i'll i'll put a picture in in the screen too and i really love that one too and it's a really easy grower so when i saw this one this one was also um i found it in my local garden center i was just super super happy to be able to pick this one up um the new leaves is really cute the way it emerges is uh, it's just kind of hidden behind the mature leaf and once it's big enough then it just then you'll you'll see it coming through from the back like this is where the new leaf is growing out isn't that cool it's a really cool interesting plant it's a lovely one i keep uh, dropping <laughs> soil on the ground i need always need to sweep after i do my videos all right so that's the third one the fourth one i want to show you it's a i can never pronounce this right a cow cow dax plant i just call it my potato plant um this one had no id but it's so cute so i picked it up you know i actually don't think the camera is doing it justice because maybe because of the light is coming off as quite green but it, hold on maybe over here you can kind of see it's actually has this like blue kind of like a blue star fern color um in, in its leaf maybe i'll put a green leaf next to it so you guys could see uh, the difference in their colors so the lemon lime marenta is super green but next to it do you see this is actually kind of bluish i don't know if it's coming off the uh, translating into the screen but it's so cute i have like a little collection of potato plants now not caldex plants and i find them to be really easy going and just the growth structure is so elegant and special so i really enjoy that most of mine are dormant at the moment i but i'm expecting them to start um, growing since spring is coming and it's getting warmer and daylight is longer so cute all right so that's that one all right and then the next next two i'm going to show you is uh our hoyas and uh, they're both on, were have been on my wish list and uh, i saw them both um being auctioned by the same person um 
and the end date was the same so that would mean that if i had won the auctions i could have i could get them shipped together so i kind of save a little bit on shipping costs and she so she posted quite a few things to that she was auctioning and i won one auction the other one i didn't win but she private messaged me and said that she does have another cutting available if i want to purchase it um at my like the the auction price that i offer so i took that one too so okay so the first one i'll show you is um hoya penchoy <laughs> if you guys remember from my most recent like not most recent but my small leave hoya video i posted a picture of my friend's uh, penchoy and it just tans like a mofo it's so gorgeous when it tans so after she sent me i'll post a picture here too for you after she sent me that photo i just started being on the lookout for a pen choy. um so this one was sent to me i think i was too eager to sun stress it i put it right in my grow tan uh, under the grow light immediately and it already kind of had some like damage from being under such bright light i should have probably eased it into the environment and the intense light um, I'm not so sure this is the, these, this is the same plan as the one that my friend has. Uh, we kind of both agree that we'll see how it tends. If it tends in the same way, if it light stresses in the same way, then it'll probably be the same plan. But it looks almost identical to my Hoyahush Kellyanna yellow. But I love that plant too. The, these like little leaves are so plump looking so adorable yeah i'm really happy with this plant it's now in my grow tent um and the other one that i lost in the uh in the auction that she offered to send to me anyways has been on my wish list for i don't know for so so long um so i'm super excited to get this one this is the corniana black leaf so pretty this splash um this one came with quite a few like tiny little new growth new leaves but uh some has dropped already new leaves just like they already don't do well in like stable environment they drop very easily uh, and this one had to travel so i wasn't too surprised that it dropped but i'm just really happy and she sent me this little cute container yeah it's really uh nice to receive this plant yeah, this one actually reminds me of the Lacunosa Royal Flush, I think, that my friend has that I really, really, really want. So pretty. Um, but yeah, really happy with this one. Once it gets a little bit bigger, then I will try to propagate it and like get a fuller pot. I'm just so scared of cutting them and like <laughs> the cuttings to not root and I lose the length and I don't get another plant. But I will do it once it's a little bit bigger all right guys okay so the next one i want to show you guys is i really love this one it's so cute i have the syngonium elbow no you know like the white variegation <laughs> syngonium i'll put the name and a picture of it in the screen and uh, i really love that plant and i don't know why like my friend earlier this year she's like she's she told me she's like aurea is probably gonna be the trend this coming year and i was like i don't know uh but i don't know what it is i just like started looking for the syngonian aurea and i just find the yellow variegation to be so like bewitching i just want to have it uh so i've been looking for one i finally found one and it's just the cutest little plant Oh, you know what else it, it must be because also my friend rose plant plants with rose uh she just recently got one from her uh garden center tour or plant shop tour video and i saw it and it's so cute and i really love it i don't know is the yellow showing through maybe if i grab the white one and put them side by side then you guys could get a better look okay just one second i'll go get it all right so i got the white one um let's put them side by side so this is the yellow variegation and this is the white variegation you can see my white one is much bigger it's like a much bigger plant i've i've been growing mine for maybe eight months and my brother has given me a cutting of his too so 
This one is a much bigger plant. And I love it, and it grows so well. It's so gorgeous, but look at this, this guy. So cute. I want to peek inside. Yeah, and they, I heard that the variegation on the yellow one, it doesn't really show until, um, oh, it doesn't really show until it kind of matures a little bit more. So I love this plant. It's in my cabinet right now. Um, you know, because it was shipped to me, and I just kind of wanted to rest a little bit and get a little bit more tender loving in the cabinet. So that's that one. We only have two more left to show you guys, and I'm equally excited of both of those plants. Uh, I'll show you this one first. This is the Burl Marks Variegata. Again, with the yellow variegation. Now, if you guys have watched my wish list plan for 2021, you would know that this one has no variegation. You would know that the variegated biliatai is on my wish list, but I just think that I'm not going to be able to afford one and find one in the near future. Hopefully, it becomes a little bit more accessible because so many people want it. But, anyways, I, so I really want that type of plant. And this one really, especially how yellow it is, really reminds me of that. Um, yeah, I think this is an older leaf. It feels limper. The variegation is so pretty. And you can see on the, can you see the petiole? It just kind of shows the, the variegation in the petiole too. Um, it's really cool. It's got like little growth points here. I've seen a lot of people's um, burrow marks with just lots of solid green leaves and some variegated leaves. So it'll be interesting to see how it grows. Uh, I guess I can kind of already see like these little pointy uh, parts. Some of them look like variegated petioles and uh, leaves, some don't. Anyways, uh, I'm also keeping this in my grow tent at the moment because I just wanted to like throw out more leaves. I did not repot this because I, the pot is clear and I could see some new roots right here and here. So I just I don't want to leave it be and not bother it, but so pretty. All right, so the last plan that I'm going to show you guys is another philodendron. Oh, you know what? I lie. I have two more plans to show you guys. Uh, this one, okay, so this one used to be last year at this time like a super rare plant, but then recently in my local nurseries, it just became super, super available. Um, in like small size, big size. I'm just so excited to be able to find this one. I, um, I'll just show you guys the plan and I'll tell you how I found it. This is the Philodendron Silver Sword. I know it's not like a perfect plant. It has a lot of like leaf damage. Um, it was available in my local garden center in Home Depot. And uh, can you see the fungus nuts? I'm seeing like all these fungus nuts. Um, it was available and then, so when I went, this was the last pot and it was quite damaged. So when I, I inquired the lady who was with the lady who was working there, she said it is the last pot, but immediately she's like, but if you'll take it, I'll offer you $10 off. So it was like, $39.99 and I got it for like $29.99 for this huge like eight inch pot plant. Plus it's got like lots of new growth points. So yeah, I'm still really, really happy that I get to bring it home and like nurture it in, back into hopefully a beautiful big plant with beautiful new leaves. Um, I'm gonna put it down, it's so heavy. Okay, yeah, but I really love that one. It's so gorgeous, so, so silver and just handsome, handsome, handsome. All right, so now this is the last one I'm going to show you guys. Um, it's so beautiful. It has dropped one leaf, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, this is the Minarum modeled. I love the, the leaf shape. I'm really attracted to this type of leaf shape. I also have a Philodendron Bobsy. I think I may have shown you guys once 
um, but it's really not doing very well. It's got lots of brown spots and it had to be treated uh, for pests, so it's kind of in isolation. Look at this gorgeous leaf shape. Can someone tell me the difference between this one and the, is it the golden dragon? I, feel, I find their leaf shape to be so similar, but yeah, but I really adore this one, the way it looks and the mottled leaf. This leaf, uh, this is what I do. It uh, came maybe in transit, it was bent a little bit. So I, um, I, I taped it up a little bit in the back to support the leaf because the leaf is not going to drop just because it was bent, but it just looks much more erect and pretty. So it's a little bit of a, like a, I don't know, cosmetics uh, fix. Sometimes if it's like really needs more support, I'll put like a toothpick in the middle, kind of like a cast for the plant to support it. I think the plant likes that too. The plants like to be beautiful too, I think. Yeah. So this one, I usually, because it also was shipped to me, so I usually um, have a temp plant tape and make them more compact and it's kept in the grow tent at the moment. I, um, I will take it out once it gets warmer. But uh, yeah, I super, super love this plant. Yeah, you guys. Like I said earlier, like these, the plants are just like my saving grace. Like I sometimes just feel lately just so heavy and sad. And when I just like go into my grow tan and just check on my plants and it is so meditative and it's like takes my mind off, um, you know, like gives me a break from grieving. Grieving takes a lot of energy. Um, yeah, I just want to be honest and let you guys know where I'm at. Um, Anyways, enough about me. I hope you guys enjoy seeing those plants. I really, really love them. And I'm super excited to see their growth uh, in the springtime. Um, all right, so that's it from me today. I think the next one I will film will be my the peperomias that I got. I'm, I really, really love them. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll see you guys soon again. Bye.